Hello. Hello. Can I speak to Miss Barnard, please? Uh -huh. Hello. My name is Mr. Glenn. I'm phoning from Ghana Airways. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's in regards, um, we, we received your, your, your application yesterday. Uh -huh. uh, you're due to travel to Ghana on the 28th of November. Yes. We have some teething problems um, with our central computer. Our computers have gone down, uh -huh. and therefore all last week we were unable to clear processes. Okay. We received your application in time, but unfortunately you won't be able to travel to Ghana on the 28th. We have three other flight options available to you. When? Uh, one is the 17th of December the 11th of January or the 16th of February. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I can't. Uh, I beg your pardon? I said sorry. Well, you, you, you don't want to go anymore? Uh, I have to be there. I'm afraid to say there are no flights. We're not flying anybody from here until the 17th of December. Until 17th of December? 17th of December. Uh, but then I have to tell Canada because, I mean, <laughs> what the... Uh, well, I mean, uh, uh, you, you, pay, you pay your deposits and you... Yeah, but, but I have to get another, you know, if power you, if, but if, but but Mr. Can you please listen? If, if you check the option clause, I'm offering you an alternative. It is non-refundable. I am offering you an alternative flight within 28 days of the 28th of November. If you wish not to take that, then you know, that's purely entirely up to you. I mean, that's an option for yourself. But, th but this really isn't an option. This is an alternative. Uh, but, but I've already had a, 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 a this thing on that 28th of November. Yeah, but I'm telling you to confirm that there's a cancellation. We're not flying anybody until the 17th of the... I mean, we are, you know, I'm sorry, one moment. That's stupid idiot. Oh, oh, no. I mean, one of the problems is, Miss Barton, maybe if you, booked, if you booked your flights earlier, then perhaps you wouldn't be in this problem. So you have to, oh, some, no. you have to take some okay. responsibility that's, yourself. That's, I'm not oh, arguing with you. I'm, I'm, not, I'm just telling you the facts. If you booked earlier, then perhaps you wouldn't be in the situation you, that you're you know, in. Hey, and something happened, and I have to go. That's yes, but why, you, but you it, can't. But, Mrs. Barton, I mean, I mean, we are talking to each other. Maybe if I speak slowly. There is no uh, flight available to you. Uh, do, you, do you understand? Do you understand? Uh, no, I don't understand because uh, well, I'm okay, talking I to you. To, uh, 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 because I mean, I mean, I have to. That's why. But you can't you, go, woman. Uh, Listen to uh, me. Um, man, if you said I can't go, you woman, can't go. Because of so, something, I have to go. So well, you listen. You cannot I have go. Because death on me, my well, dear. Well, you listen to me. That I have to. You're go. not going. Pardon? You're not going to be able to go. Is that clear? Uh, okay, okay, so uh, what can I do? Nothing. You paid your deposit. If, uh, no, if you're not no, prepared to go in December, no, I'll be quiet that. and listen to me. Uh, listen. Be listen. quiet and listen. listen. You, you can go on the 17th listen. of December. You're not listening, listen, woman. Uh, what's wrong with you? Uh, hey, are you going to abuse me? I'm telling you facts, not abusing listen, you. No, you can't tell. You look, you can't talk to me like that. Why? You know? why? Well, why? Why? Who are you? Mean, why? why do you have to tell me look that? Look at you. Do you have cash? Do you have cash? <laughs> what do you mean do you I have, have cash? academic achievement? Who are you? Look at you. Hello? Hey, you are abusing me. Okay, thank Ms. you. Mrs. Barna, Mrs. Barna, do, you know, do, you know do you know Alma, Amanda and Susan? Do you know Alma, Amanda and Susan? Mrs. Barna, do you know Alma, Amanda and Susan? What happened to them? Well, you see, you're live on the radio. My name is Jeff Schumann. They asked me to phone you and wind you up this morning. You, you said what? Well, you are live on the radio, Mrs. Uh, Barna. This has all been a joke. You have such a You have such a You have such a You have I play prank on you this morning. You are live on the radio. You don't know? No, pardon? Look at you. You don't have no cash. Hello, Mavis. This is Jeff Schumann. Your children are laughing at you. Your daughters, Alma, Amanda, and Susan said, please, Jeff, give our mum a call. She's a wonderful, we love her a lot, but can you please... <laughs> now, Miss, now, Mrs. Barna, do you have a message for your daughters? Okay. What's the message? Tell them that I said they should be shaved. <laughs> Tell them I said they would be shaved themselves, okay? Take care. Have a lovely morning, Mavis. Okay, Look after yourself. Have a nice time in Ghana. Okay, bye-bye.